I got the Platinum Trophy for the greatest Grand Theft Auto game of all time. Get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. Whip it. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think they're super important. I, what the hell? Is anybody else seeing this? Was that supposed to happen? Yes, I am talking about Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And if you're one of those people that think that GTA 5 is the GOAT, you probably weren't even old enough to buy it when it initially released without your parents' permission. Which isn't even an insult because I was only 16 years old when I bought it for the first time on eBay, which doesn't ask for parental consent to buy M-rated games. FBI, open up! All jokes aside, GTA San Andreas is a zing and despite the numerous glitches found in the Definitive Edition, it feels like this game was made to be enjoyed on a PlayStation 5. In San Andreas, you play as CJ, a gangster returning home from some business in Liberty City, only to realize that Samuel L. Jackson has an iron grip on his hometown. You haven't forgotten about us, have you, boy? Hell no, Officer Tampenny. I was just wondering what took y'all so long. Get in the car. After Nick Fury drops us off in a random alleyway, we get the greatest intro line ever. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. And our new adventure officially kicks off. Since Mace Windu is now running these streets, we have to get the crew back together and work our way up from Street Thug to Gangland CEO. This task seems daunting at first, but it doesn't take long to get the hang of the game, and I actually beat one of the most annoying missions in the game on the very first try. I thought this was family stuff. Oh! Yo, I'm getting shot, bro! Yo, speed the hell on up, dog. I like how I'm the only one getting shot at. Like, there are three homies on bikes right now, and you shooting at the one not in green. Why don't we just blast on them, dude? Way easier to lay down some hate than just ride our bikes around town not getting shot. Get out of my way, lady. I ain't on roids. I'm gonna be freaking jacked the hell up CJ? out, though. Scrawny CJ just ain't doing it, dude. We gotta get jacked. Even fat CJ's better than scrawny CJ. Oh, shit. Ballers, bro! Brother, everyone, the cops, dude, shoot them dudes! Come on, man! Protect and serve, dog! Going on. Look how he just said they're popping wheelies in the back. Hey, yo, just drop in. We all hanging out. Gia, and get yourself some colors, fool. And a haircut. It's embarrassing to be seen with you. Yo, what's up with that? What, what, what's up with that fine-looking honey back there? Just right out in front of my crib. Hell yeah. It's good to be in Los Santos, baby. First trophy. Complete big smoke. Hell yeah. As much as I love this game, I am also a realist in understanding that the mechanics are severely hindered by this game being initially developed in 2005. Despite these flaws, the game devs wanted us to play certain missions as designed, and as a result, this beautiful gem of a missable trophy was born. To get it, you have to stealth kill every enemy in the mission, Mad Dogs Rhymes. Who thought it was a good idea to put a stealth-based trophy in Grand Theft Auto? I'll wait. Gosh, damn, dude. This has got to be the hardest trophy in the game. It's got to be. You can't tell me this isn't the hardest trophy in the game. At least I'm getting it out of the way early. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Just go freaking hide over here in the corner. I got something. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Walk your dumb ass over to the doorway so that I can murder you. 
There we go. There we go. Too easy. Too freaking easy. Wait till this dumbass looks at the wall and we're good. Probably because you're playing on a TV with nothing going on. Okay, there we go. There we go. I probably I want the body armor because it's gonna come in handy. I don't want to pass up on the body armor, but I do want to kill this asshole. Find another way to kill the other dude. I like how the guards just miraculously double. There we go. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hide right here. And see what this guy's pattern is. The guards are using silenced guns. If you manage to obtain it, go light a fire gun without being heard by nearby guards. Okay. I guess he's not coming out. Oh, yeah, baby. Give me that freaking gun. Give me that freaking gun. Okay, got him. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, stealth for days. I got one more dude. The answer is kill every single guard every single time. That was a clutch shot. That was a clutch shot. That could have that could have went so freaking wrong. I thought I killed this dude. Did I not? Oh yes, baby! Clutched it! Oh, that was so clutch. Oh, get me the hell up out of here. Get me the hell up out of here. Give me that trophy, baby. Assassin! Hell yes, stealth kill all enemies in the mission. Mad Dogs Rhymes, which that is a un or that is a missable trophy. So that trophy freaking sucks. Easily the hardest trophy I've ever gotten on GTA San Andreas before, and I've platinum the PS3 version. But hell yes! Only two missable trophies left. The next trophy has to be unmissable unless you have never played GTA like literally ever. It can be unlocked by simply using a pay and spray to dish the cops. Okay, go, go and get it repaired. Got it. Yo, I'm sorry I shot the cop. He shot at me first, though. I wasn't even doing anything. I was getting shot at, and instead of shooting the aggressor, he shot me, dog. Don't blame that shit on me. Aha! It's the spray and uh, the pay and spray trick. Oh yeah, baby! Pay and spray. Use a pay and spray with wanted level. So since I accidentally had that wanted level, I got a free trophy out the deal. San Andreas strikes the perfect balance between letting you do whatever the heck you want and giving you a riveting story that you can't wait to continue. Along the way, they also shower us with another easy trophy for completing the Green Saber story mission. Oh, fuck. Sweet. Look, go get Kendall and take her to a safe place. What you thinking? It's sweet. I think him and the homies is walking into a trap. Hell Just yeah, go. they is. Go! I gotta go save my boy. I gotta go save... I gotta go save my brother from the same... Gosh, damn it. They stole my damn car again. Or my wheels, I should say. Okay, yeah, you. Get the hell up out of here. I ain't got time to do with you. I ain't got time to do with you. shit. My brother's dying. I gotta Dude, what can I say? I'm a master at killing with a car. Okay, there we go. I got you, bro. I got you, fam. Man, you all right? You've been hit. It doesn't matter, man. You gotta get out of here. The cops gonna arrive any second. Nah, man. I ain't running out of my brother. 
Oh yeah. I'm taking you motherfuckers. You hear me? I'm taking you all down, bitches. Yo, this is CJ's place now. Ah! CJ's running the grove. Where you at? Where you at? There he is. Got a prop. You thought you'd be cute and flank me, huh? Remember that. I'll let that go. Ah. Dude, you're you're literally sitting out of the vehicle right now. Dude, just die. Just die. Like you were sitting in a parked vehicle, bro. Oh shit, we're going away. Shit, dog, we're getting arrested today. Freaking knew it. All dressed up for San Fierro. Complete the green you, saber. How you feel about that? Man. The most surprising and also monotonous thing about this game is the sheer amount of random tasks and missions that are included. For example, in between street racing, committing gang violence, and breaking at least two of the Ten Commandments, I have the option to go to school and learn how to be a better reckless driver. I mean, this is an advanced driving school, right? What about an advanced crashing school? I feel like that would be helpful. Okay, there we go. Look at that. I'm almost done. Hopefully, I get a hell of a time bonus, because if I get a damage bonus, it's definitely going to be in the negative. Oh, look at that. I still got a 78%. I only missed... I only got 22% down for the damage. Trophy, baby. Fully complete a vehicle school. Hell yes. I didn't even know that was a trophy, but I'm down with it. The good news is that this trophy list only has three missable trophies, and most of them are not that hard to accomplish. This next trophy is the easiest of the three, and it is for skipping the recommended driving locations in the mission Mike Terreno and instead driving straight to the San Fierro airport where Mike is actually located. What? Oh man, who are you? Okay, just keep talking. Hey Holmes, Mike's in trouble. Let's bounce. What trouble? Who was Mike? Man, they taking the yay shipment and the van, and Mike's still in the back. Well, what are we gonna do? How the fuck we gonna know where he's he is? He's got his phone. He's gonna talk to us till his battery runs out. Come on, we gotta bounce. All right, let's jet. Okay, well, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to drive straight to the Easter Basin Airport. Got much time on his battery left. The Easter Basin Airport is this way. So I'm just going to drive straight to it. Okay, so I just got to... There we go. That's what... Roll one more, one more, one more. Oh, thank you. Dude, you're an idiot. Hell yeah! Who needs directions? Find Mike Serino without any of the reference locations. I kind of got this next trophy by accident. When the trophy popped, I was in between recording sessions and was stuck in the throes of gastrointestinal distress. Fortunately, the only way to get this trophy in the game is to basically just sit still for 24 real minutes. So I guess I could thank Dr. E. Coli for helping me get this trophy. The next seven trophies in this game are unmissable if you are going for the 100% and quite honestly, most people will get them by naturally playing the game. The first one is for purchasing one of the 25 available houses in the game. And considering today's market prices, these suckers are pretty damn cheap. What you got? 20,000? Hell yeah, I'ma buy it. The American dream, baby. Purchase any house. Hell yeah, I didn't even know I this was a house. There is another gimme trophy for completing the story mission. Yay, kaboom boom. Who was this? I work for Woozy. He told me to call you. Okay. Hi, what's up? I'm rigging a car with explosives so you can take out the crack factory. 
Drop around the garage downtown. Cool. I'll be at you in a minute. I'm at the garage downtown. Oh, you mean y'all's garage, not my garage. Got it. I got me a bomb. Hey, man, is it ready? Oh, you She's chose such a nice car, dude. She's packing enough to take out that crack lab. How long I got? I've wired in a delay timer to give you time to get out. Cool. Good look. All right, let's go. Blow up this crack factory, baby. Dude, they're making crack right over here. Dude, I was over here so many times. You gonna open the gate? Blast the moron! Open the gate! Reload! What did you expect? It's America! Get back in the car? Okay. I mean, yeah, I have an AK-47. Totally illegal in America. There we go. I'll just kneecap them all. Oh shit. Okay, get out. We gotta go. We gotta go. I was gonna say, dude, this sucker's about to blow, bro. I mean, it'll kill all these dudes in here. And it'll kill all those gorgeous women cutting cocaine up in their underbritches. You thought you could trap me in here. Duked our way the hell up out of there. I mean, normally I would steal that sports car, but I don't know if they're gonna follow me or not. So I'm just gonna get the hell up out of there. Look at that, too easy. How much money do you think I'm gonna get for blowing up that crack factory? Twenty-five grand. What happens in Los Venturas? Complete yay, kaboom, boom. Hell yeah, yay, kaboom, boom. And another one for completing either the BMX challenge or the NRG challenge. Personally, I found the NRG challenge to be way easier and completed it on my first try. Okay, I totally completed this. Ten seconds. Got it! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Clutched it, baby! Complete a BMX or NRG challenge. Holy shit! What was that? Like five seconds to spare? Oh, first try! Hell yes! While gambling can be a very bad habit for some people, I have amazing self-control and only throw down $100 on blackjack exclusively. So playing roulette had me a bit nervous, but if you just maximum bet black on the lowest tier table, it's a 50-50 shot of winning. No more, dealer. No more bets, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I can't Bitch. be faded, man. Give it off me a chip. Shit, man. Double or nothing? What was that? I should have just put all your money on the maximum bet on red or black. I just did that. It said black 28. But okay, I got the trophy anyway. That's cool. I'm cool with it. This next trophy is both missable and the hardest trophy in the game. 
It is for sneaking into Area 69 without setting off any alarms in the Mission Black Project. Despite struggling for one to two hours, I was finally able to find a route that would make a Navy SEAL blush. Guys, never once looks my way, but he does the time that I ran a perfect route. <sighs> fine, 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 fine. Want to play like that? We'll play like that. No big deal. You don't know how many times I will do the same exact thing over and over in the name of a trophy. I will spend two or three days doing the same exact thing if that means getting the trophy. Like, I'm not scared of the grind. I mean, I've been on this mission for like almost two hours at this point. I could do this all night. I mean, I, I, mean, I could do this all night until I have to sleep because I do have work in the morning, but still. Clean headshot. It's gotta be a headshot. Okay. Now let's get up here. Okay. Completely Gucci. Like ultra mega Gucci. Right there. Not no more. <laughs> Sucker. Yeah. There's my boy. Who oh, is he? Perfect. That, that it, I didn't even go into a code blue. Too easy. I'm sure, there's like one more guy probably. Okay, not that one. Okay, so there's another guy somewhere. Dude, what? It's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. We're just gonna fly the hell up out of her. And we should get the trophy. Girl, dude, man. Hey, here you go. You better stash it somewhere fast. Far out. Have a nice trip, dude. Hey, wait a uh, Was it too much to ask to get a lift in the town? There it is. They can't stop all of us. Sneak into the underground base without setting off the alarm above ground during Black Project. Whew! And if I'm not mistaken, that should be the last oh, of the unmissable or the missable trophies. Hey. After resisting my more primal urges to Naruto run into Area 69 M4's Blazing, it was time to beat the rest of the story missions in the game 
bring an end to Zero Dark CJ's adventure and snag two more gimme trophies. One was for schwacking an entire Mafia family in St. Mark's Bistro. Okay, so where's the other dudes at? Yo, where's my, where's my crew? Shit. Reload, reload, reload. Yeah, I want my M4, damn it. Yeah, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Come on. Dude, they got they they got this kind of firepower hidden under the counters at a bistro. I mean, this is some crazy. Th I mean, kitchen staff ain't shedding lead like this. Got it. Okay, maybe I don't. Maybe maybe I don't. You enjoying yourself? Okay, so I guess I can't crouch too much. What the hell is up with that? Why was I not? What? I shot him in the freaking mouth. Oh, damn. This is a lot. There's probably going to be like a hundred dudes. Okay, who's next? Okay, yep, he's coming for me. Yeah, what you do now, huh? Or he thinks he's coming for me. In reality, he ain't coming for shit. That's the last one. Ha ha! Too easy! I just flew in there, kicked in their front door, smoked the shit out of them, and called it a day. Over. Okay, here we go. There we go. Look at that. I landed her. That's like the third or fourth time I've landed a gosh damn plane. Liberty City State of Mind complete the St. Mark's Bistro mission. That was probably the easiest mission in the entire game. Not even gonna lie. That was pretty damn easy. And the other one is for beating the final mission in the game and watching as Frozone dies in a freak fire truck accident that I in no way, shape, or form had anything to do with. Dude, I shot out like both tires. Yeah, I'm going to say he's dying from that car wreck right there. He just flipped a fire truck off a bridge. Let's hit him with the Molotov cocktail. Watch it burn, just in case. Come on, assholes! <coughs> I'll take you all! You're mine! Mine! I'll run this town! <coughs> See you around, officer. You gonna teabaggins him? No, we Gucci. And that is how the end of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is. End hey, of the cool. line. Complete end of the line. Keep now that the main story was complete, the grind to 100% had just begun. There are so many different trophies that correlate to random tasks that must be completed in order to reach that Hundo P completion. While this next trophy is not exactly an example of one of these, it is quite funny. I did exactly what it said not to do. I did exactly what it said not to do! You know what? I don't... 
I'm just going to let myself drown. There's a trophy for it. We're going to end on a positive note. We're going to end on a trophy. Because I am going to let I am going to let myself drown. I'm give me that sweet sweet bling. Cuz that's the only thing that's going to save this video right now. Is a sweet sweet bling. If you don't give me a bling, I why did I have to make myself so good at swimming? Didn't realize it would take me an entire four minutes to drown. I didn't realize I was an Olympic swimmer. There it is. Horror of the Santa Maria. Drown. That's all, it need. That's all we had to do was drown for that trophy. In order to achieve the 100% completion, you must complete all of the following requirements. 98 story missions. 26 asset missions. Five vehicle challenges, six vehicle missions, 25 race tournaments, four stadium events, four vehicle schools, 250 collectibles, 30 different car exports, four weapons challenges, 29 property purchases, and three gym fights. The vast majority of these tasks can be done prior to beating the final story mission, but I unwisely decided to save them until the end. Luckily enough, a good number of these challenges come with their very own trophies, like this one for completing 12 levels of Firefighter. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Sound just like a truck backing up. Don't worry, CJFD is here. The CJ Fire Department is here to save the day. Hell yeah, rescue a kitten too! Complete 12 levels of firefighter. I didn't even realize that was a trophy. I mean, that's a, that's a double bonus right there. Do I get a trophy every time I do one of these? Hell yeah! And another trophy for completing 12 levels of paramedic, which single-handedly made me want to do a snow angel in a pit of pharmaceutical needles. Oh, hell yes, baby! Come to Daddy CJ! Oh, the worst mission in the game! Donezo! Savior, complete 12 levels of paramedic. Oh, I'm so glad that's done. That is easily the worst mission I've had to do this entire game. The next two trophies I got while trying to complete 12 levels of vigilante. They popped simultaneously and were for reaching the maximum respect level and reaching a six star wanted level. There we go. Haha! <laughs> Original gangster! Reach maximum respect? How do you not respect somebody when they're driving a tank and taking on the entire Natty Guard? Public enemy number one! Reach six wanted stars! Hell yeah, brother! This is the greatest day of my video game career right here! I have always been a person that prefers to do everything in the most efficient manner possible. While some trophy hunters will take a relatively easy trophy list and add stipulations to it to make it harder, I am not one of those people. Which brings me to this next trophy, which is for completing 12 levels of vigilante. At first, I tried to use a police bike to get it done, but I was informed via Google that you can use a tank. There we go. Now we're cooking. I think I'll be able to complete it this time, but I know now that I that I can't be like driving into people as much because that explosion does damage the tank. So I do need to blow people up. Like I have to shoot them. Which is not as fast, but hey, it, it'll be fine. But we stole the tank. Don't get out of the tank. 
and I literally just broke my rule right off the bat. I did not mean to do that, but you're going to drive up. You're going to blow them up. You're just going to keep the pedal to the floor. No stopping. We'll get the natty guard called on us eventually, but we'll be fine. Okay, central brickle pine. Uh, we're good. Sorry, I got to blow up your car. These guys are real speedy Gonzalez. Ah, that was too high. That was perfect. Got it, baby! Hell yeah! What this city needs! Complete 12 levels of vigilante. Heck yes! Remember earlier when I said that I would rather Snow Angel into a pit of hypodermic needles than complete the paramedic missions? Well, this mission is worse. Much worse. It's for completing 50 fares in taxi mode, which is easy. It's just really boring. Like Amish adult entertainment level boring. No! Don't blow up my car, you dicks! Yes, I speak English! Reach 50 fares in I can't! Gosh damn it! Reach 50 fares in taxi mode! After completing nearly every task this game has to offer, I had finally gotten down to the export car list, which basically requires that we steal 30 different cars and take them to San Fierro to be exported. While some of these cars took up to 45 minutes to find, others were literally right out in the open and the final car export would also grant me the 100% completion trophy. Oh, so you're saying that right there could be a Huntley. Oh, please tell me this is a Huntley. Oh my goodness, I need to go buy a lottery ticket time freaking now. I don't think that's ever appeared. Not once while I've been streaming. I don't think this has appeared there once. But the one time I need it to is when I need it to finish the export list. I, I've I must have a golden horseshoe wrapped in four-leaf clover shoved up my poop chute or something. Like, this is insane. There it is, baby! A legitimate business export all three car lists. And remastered, earn a hundro P completion percentage. Oh, yes. Now that we had officially reached that 100 P status, all that was left were the miscellaneous trophies, like achieving a 100% sex appeal, which only requires CJ to be muscular, rich, and drive a nice vehicle. Pretty much just dating in 2023. And once you see this method, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that's freaking genius. So basically the way you actually upgrade... Holy shit! Chick magnet! Achieve maximum sex appeal! I mean, I know I'm one sexy some bitch, but there's no way I'm pulling chicks in this! Another miscellaneous trophy was for maxing all weapon skills, which if done naturally, takes hours to complete. However, through the power of ingenuity and Google, I found a much superior method for this trophy. Okay, so the best way to do this, the premier method that we're gonna use to max out all the weapons, you're gonna find a car, you're gonna park it in your garage. Right now I'm using CJ's house because there's a sawn off shotgun with infinite, you know, respawns inside the house. So then you're gonna let the car be in the garage. You're literally just gonna turn around with the door open and you're gonna shoot it. And then when it catches on fire, close the garage door. And it'll instantly fix it. We'll just play video games together on Sunday. You can still stream it. You're still making content. We're still, you know, spending time together. Hell yeah, there it is. 
Swiss Army Strife, max out all weapon skills. Hell yes! There is another miscellaneous trophy in this game that I can only assume is paying homage to Steph Curry because it is for scoring 30 points in a basketball challenge and some of these shots are from half court. Well, not San Andreas, but the basketball. There it is. Shmoney, baby! We're just gonna let the time run out because if I quit the game, it probably won't count my time or my numbers, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Hooping it up, baby. Score at least 30 points in the basketball mini game. Call me CJ Curry, baby. That was easy. Another trophy can be achieved for performing a perfect dance routine at any of the dance clubs you can find. Woo! Smooth moves, baby! Perform a perfect dance routine. I had to clutch up there. I had to go super sweaty gamer mode to get it done, but I got it done. There are two additional trophies that require us to gamble away more money than some people make in a single year. I know that gambling is addictive, but like, who knew you could gamble on the Wheel of Fortune? We just gotta win $1,000. It says I have to max amount of 10, but I think I'm good. First try, baby! 1540! I'm telling you, I need to buy a lottery ticket because it's like I've got a golden horseshoe wrapped in four leaf clovers just sitting in my back pocket, man. The luckiest dude on earth right now. Yellow has won the most so far. Yellow has been winning the most, so we're, we're going yellow. We're going the yellow rider. Rump rider. Hell yes. That's easily the best name. Oh my, and it goes into last place at the start. What is this shit? Let's go, Rump Rider, ride the Rump, let's go. And Blue freaking wins. Blue freaking wins, the one time I go off a of Blue. You've gotta be shitting me. What am I supposed to do? I, I will let you pick the next one. I will let you pick the next one because obviously I'm not doing a good job of picking them. Unless somehow Loose Pink pulls it off. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Get it. Get it. Get it. Come on. I think I did it. Okay, we got it. We got it that time. What are the odds? Win a race in inside track betting. Quick question for everyone. What is better than one piece of chocolate? Yep, six pieces of chocolate. Especially when all six pieces of chocolate are sleek, gorgeous, and happen to really love drinking coffee at midnight. And this should be a trophy after she gets done enjoying her coffee. Taking very long, Deep sips of the coffee. Uh, what? Did I never go on a date with Denise? do is go on a date hell yes i don't even have to finish it at this point all that was standing between me and the platinum trophy was owning all of the gang war turfs and about 600 pounds of fat considering i'm not trying out to be a stunt double on the set of the whale i decided it would be best to own all the gang turfs before eating my way into type 2 sugar diabetes Yeah, I need to get some health. 
And some body armor. I think is, but yep, they're both down here. This will, this is gonna seal the deal right here. Ain't no way I'm losing now. Not with the guns I got. Not with the minigun. I got one more round. One more round, and we there it is. Ain't nothing but a G thing. I already got it. Own all gang warfare turfs properties and have a million dollars. I mean, it kind of glitched on me there. It just knows. The game just knew that there's no way in hell I wasn't getting this damn turf. It knew. We're going to get the clucking huge meal. I like my meals big. Don't choke on the bone fragment. One, two, at eight, at eight meals, we should also get a trophy. So three, Cluckety, cluck, cluck, sir. four. Five, might be lucky enough to find a six, seven, come back, eight. Moron. There it is. With extra dip. Time to make sure we walk out of here with type 2 sugar diabetes. If we don't have four chins by the time we leave here, we ain't doing something right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it is, I'll have two number nines. Reach maximum weight. We did it. Hell yeah, look at that, we are a chunky boy. Look at that shit, I'm obese. I am damn big. After completing everything and officially owning the entire county of San Andreas, it was finally time to earn that sweet platinum trophy and let CJ enjoy retirement. Or was it? This right here is gonna be the Platinum Trophy. All I gotta do is start a new game once I figure out how to do it. Right here, once I, yeah, once I start a new game, it doesn't matter, that's the Platinum Trophy. It's been fun, let's get what we earned. Here we go again. Start a new game after getting 100% on a save file. And I ain't no buster. Hell to the yes. GTA San Andreas PS5 Platinum Trophy. You seen it here. I can't wait for the next Platinum. I don't know what it's going to be yet. It's probably not going to be Vice City. But I can't wait. If you like this video and you want to see another one like it, click right here. If you want to watch this entire playthrough from start to finish, click right here. And if you want to join us live on Twitch, click the link in the description below.